Where women and children are empowered and educated, economies are productive and strong. Where women and children are more fully represented, societies are more peaceful and stable. And I would add to that quote that women and children probably represent our world's greatest untapped resource. But to conclude, we obviously cannot only think about how health literacy may change the world. We also must think about how what the changes in our world mean for how we deliver health literacy initiatives. Today's world has the largest proportion of young people ever. We need to think creatively about how to reach this crowd, appeal to their tech savvy ways, and empower them with choice. Technology will no doubt be a key facilitator of health literacy. Three quarters of the world's inhabitants have access to a mobile phone, which is a greater proportion of people who have access to access to essential medicines. Both traditional and social media are also crucial for health literacy in this new era. We must bridge the gap between what we know about health issues and how the news media covers them, and we must unleash the health promoting power and potential of Web 2.0, the blogosphere, Twitterverse, and whatever online spaces become popular tomorrow. Ultimately, we need to continue thinking about how these technologies and platforms can be used to improve health literacy and accelerate progress in global health. This is important work, which I'm sure will keep us all engaged and busy throughout the day, and I look forward to being part of these discussions. Thank you.